Megan lets her hair down and goes casual in a blazer and skinny jeans for Invictus Games Challenge in Sydney after her perfectly polished ensemble at War Memorial opening just hours earlier. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle traded their formal attire for casual looks as they took a boat across Sydney Harbour to Cockatoo Island for a special Invictus Games car challenge. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex took the private vessel from Admiralty House in Kirribilli where they have been staying a guest of Governor General Sir Peter Cosgrove. The couple changed out of the somber dress they wore to open an extension to the Anzac War Memorial in Hyde Park on Saturday morning opting for polo shirts emblazoned with the Invictus Games. Meghan threw an elegant white white Altus Rocacia blazer, worth about 2,371 Australian dollars over the top of her shirt, which was paired with matching looker denim jeans from Los Angeles brand Mother. The Duchess accessorized with Elastiva sunglasses, worth about $240, and completed the outfit with a pair of Tabitha Simmons Millie heels which retail for about $1,033. Harry wore grey trousers and brown boots. The couple travelled to the island to watch the Invictus Games Jaguar Land Rover Driving Challenge, the first event of the Games hours before the evening's opening ceremony. Once on the island they were greeted by competitors in their racing uniforms, one athlete from Poland seated in a wheelchair as he chatted to Megan. Harry put an affectionate hand on his wife's slower back as they walked along the Cockatoo Island jetty to greet the waiting drivers and their support staff. From there they watched the cars go through their paces in preparation for the race to be held soon after, as dozens of others reached over barriers to snap photos of the action. Australia went down to France with its team of retired sniper Craig McGraw, 45, who was hit by shrapnel in Afghanistan in 2012 and mine specialist Scott Reynolds, 39, who served in Iraq in 2003. The competitors raced through three courses, the first getting them to quickly park in marked rectangles the exact size of the car. Then they had to squeeze through posts sticking out of half a meter of water on a complicated track, and raced through a course that was randomized with flashing lights. The royal couple also took time out to play with remote control cars alongside children from different countries who traveled to the event with the athletes. Harry appeared to have a barrel of fun driving the cars across the uneven grass off to one side of the course, laughing, smiling, and sometimes gesturing his arms in frustration. Meghan looked on with amusement and smiled at the youngsters who were excited to meet the Duke and Duchess, even shaking hands with one as Harry gave him a pat on the head. The competition turned serious as Harry competed against two boys, one from Australian and another from Holland in a race across a track strewn with rocks and other obstacles. A chuckling prince enthusiastically pursued the boys' cars with his own calling out all right I'm coming, I'll catch you, while sporting a giant's grin. The prince was bested by 13-year-old Daniel Jones from Bellina in the NSW Northern Rivers whose father Jamie Tanner, 35 will represent Australia in the wheelchair tennis and rugby events. Mr Tanner was a soldier in the Australian Army who served in East Timor, Iraq and Afghanistan before he was medically discharged in 2016 with terrible injuries and PTSD. Daniel bragged about his victory after defeating Harry, who mostly enjoyed himself but looked frustrated at time during the friendly race. Harry was good at remote control cars, but I was better, obviously. Daniel said. Megan was funny. She was saying I'll have a go but I'll crash it over the fence and put it in the water. Harry took the controls and had a great sense of humor about it, too. Daniel recalled that another boy's car knocked over both theirs and Harry's, and the child, Aiden, 6, only put his own car the right way up, prompting the Duke to joke thanks for picking my car up, mate, to much laughter. The royal couple were a big draw card for Daniel and his siblings attending the games along with watching their father compete, according to mum Lisa Kluwak. For months and months the kids have been saying will we get to meet them, Harry and Meghan, and we kept saying you'll see them but you most probably won't get to meet them, she laughed. This is just extraordinary. Earlier Harry and Meghan were greeted by adoring fans as they opened a $40 million extension of the War Memorial at Hyde Park in Sydney's CBD in a surprise appearance. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex arrived at Hyde Park about 10 a.m. on Saturday with NSW Governor David Hurley, a former chief of the Defence Force, and were welcomed by an Australian Army marching band. 
Harry rolled out his best officer and a gentleman look in the tropical dress of his regiment, the Blues and Royals, with medals, KCVO and sword. Meghan wore an elegant 2,927 Australian dollars black frock by New Zealand designer Emilia Wickstead, a choice that was seen by many as a nod to the Anzacs. She also wore a pillbox-style hat by Philip Tracy and paired it with a matching clutch bag. They were joined by Prime Minister Scott Morrison, NSW Premier Gladys Berejiklian, and Veterans Affairs Minister David Elliott on an overcast Sydney morning. Walking beside Harry as he arrived, and throughout the ceremony, was Governor Hurley, who was decked out in a similar white dress uniform to the Prince's, with his wife Linda in a blue dress and hat. Harry and Meghan were treated to a traditional welcome to country, including a didgeridoo performance by two Aboriginal men painted in traditional body paint, and a performance by an Indigenous dance troupe. Aboriginal twins Crystal and Sienna Dawson presented the royal couple with a medallion and a painting during their visit. The girls, aged nine, were from the Kumari Aboriginal dance troupe and both said they were nervous about meeting and performing for Harry and Meghan. Crystal, who did an Aboriginal art floral painting said, They said hi and nice to meet you. The medallion, presented by Sienna, said play the game, the model of the Beverly Hills Public School which they attend. I didn't want to dance at first, but then it was fun, she said. Their mother, Connie, said, I think it was very overwhelming for them. As a parent, it was a very important ceremony and it's important that the next generation coming through should be part of it.